Well, here we are, sequences and graphs. And why are we learning this? Well, sequences can occur everywhere in everyday life, whether it be in money or in a hospital or with oscilloscopes, a normal arithmetic progression, simple sequences, or even a picture sequence of how to build something. They occur everywhere. So, Delta 1, Chapter 10, Sequences and Graphs. A few key points to start with. Numbers in a sequence are called terms. So the terms can go up, which we call increasing or ascending, or they can go down, which means that the sequence is decreasing or descending. A finite sequence has got a fixed number of terms, and an infinite sequence just goes on forever. You could describe a sequence by giving the first term and the term-to-term -term rule. The term-to-term -term rule just tells you how to get from one term to the next. An arithmetic sequence goes up or down in equal steps. This step is called the common difference. OK, let's put this into practice. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. Restart it when you have done them. OK, so you've got to write down the next three terms in each sequence. In case you have a bit of trouble with me talking, I'll put it both talking and printed. So the first sequence goes up in fours. So from 16, the next term will be 20, 24 and 28, which is over here. Sequence B, they're going up half at a time or 0 0.5. So the sequence will go 3, 3.5 and 4. This sequence is going up 0 0.2 at a time. So the next Three will be 3.9, 4.1 and 4.3. D, this is going down in 0.3s, so the next three terms are 0 0.6, 0 0.3 and 0. Write the missing terms in each sequence. So, I'll do questions 2 and 3 at the same time. Question 2a, that is going up in 3s, so that is ascending, and the missing terms are 18 and 27. B is also ascending, but this time they are doubling each time, so the missing numbers are 8 and 64. Uh, this sequence is also ascending, going up, and the missing terms are 3 and 9, it's going up in 2s. And the last one is coming down in 5s, so the missing terms are 25 and 20, and we call that sequence descending. Okay. Again, pause the video and have a go at these questions and restart it when you have done them. So, here we go. Are these sequences finite or infinite? Well, A, integers, they are just whole numbers, they go on forever. C, prime numbers, well, there's no pattern to them, but they do go on forever. And multiples of 5e, they also go on forever. So all of those are infinite, a, c, and e. B and d are finite. B is the positive multiples of 10 to 100, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, and it stops at 100. Square numbers for d smaller than 200, so 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on, up to 14 squared is 196. It's finite, it stops. Question 5, the first term on A is 5, and the term-to-term -term rule is add 2. B, the first term is 100, and the term-to-term -term rule is minus 10. C, the first term is 15, and we are now going up in sixes, so the term-to-term -term rule is plus 6. And D, the first term is 20, and we're coming down in 5, so the term-to-term -term rule is minus 5. 6. Which of these sequences are arithmetic? Well, for an arithmetic sequence, it's either got to go up or down by the same amount. So A is coming down by 1, C is going up by 3, and D is going up by 5. So they are all arithmetic. B, that is multiplying by 3 each time. So that is not arithmetic, that happens to be called geometric, or you may have heard the term recently, exponential. 
6e, that is an alternating sequence, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. And f, if you notice the differences between the numbers, it's the differences that are increasing by 1. Again, pause the video and have a go at these. Restart when you have done them. Okay. So, describing each sequence by writing the first of the common difference. The first column in A is starts with 9 and the common difference is add 9. B starts with 20 and the common difference is add 10. C starts with 3 and the common difference is add 2. D starts with 30 and now we're coming down by 5 so the common difference is minus 5. E starts with 9 and the common difference is add 2. And F starts with 100 and the common difference is minus 11. The first five terms are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Well, you should notice that that is the 3 times table. So the 10th term will be 3 times 10, which is 30. The 50th term, 3 times 50, which is 150. And C, the 100th term, 100 times 3, is 300. So your turn again. Pause the video and have a go at these questions, but this time I'm not going to give you the answers. You're going to email your answers to your maths teacher. Restart the video when you have done them. Final bit. So first of all, I've put you in a very difficult challenge. It's not an arithmetic sequence, but I find this incredibly difficult for one or two people so let's see you are you up to the challenge 1 4 27 256 3125 what's the next two terms very hard explore how long it would take you to count in twos up to a million that's a big number as well anyway how would you define a sequence in your own words Write down your definition. Next topic will be the nth term in section 10.2, but we will do that next week.